this video we're going to talk about uh, Monte Carlo simulations for portfolio management. Okay, we're going to allow the interest rates to vary in this type of simulation. We're going to talk more about this in a minute. Okay, so this is a way to determine all possible ending balances of a portfolio, uh, yearly returns of the portfolio, and overall average rate of return. Um, over any number of years. Um, so we can set the number of years to whatever we want for the portfolio. And uh, we're going to allow the rates of return to fluctuate every year as they would in a portfolio. So we're going to allow, um, especially for investing, let's say in the stock market, uh, and this is a retirement portfolio, it could run for 30 years and every year, in fact, even more granular than that, every day, every month, um, there could be a different rate of return. So we're going to let those rates of return be randomly generated each year. And, um, or they could even be, again, more granular than that each year, each month, each day. And um, they're going to follow different statistical distributions. So could be normal, log normal. Um, stock market tends to follow a log normal distribution. Um, so again, you can look at your past data and decide based off of that what type of distribution you think your rates of return should follow. And you can allow uh, for rates of return to be randomly generated within that distribution um, and allow, um, again, random uh, rates of return within that to be generated. And then, of course, look at all possible ending balances, uh, rates of return on your portfolio, et cetera, et cetera, and run this over many, um, many years and run that simulation many, many times. Pros of it. Uh, it can be used in corporate finance, options pricing, portfolio management, personal finance planning, wonderful uses of it. Um, this is uh, this list here is thanks to Investopedia. Uh, here is the article on it. Um, and uh, cons of it, it's limited in that it can't account for bear markets, recessions, or any other kind of big financial crisis that might impact potential, potential results. Um, again, that's thanks to Investopedia. So again, it can allow for a lot of random fluctuations within a normal market, but then if there's anything really out of the ordinary that's happening, you can't forecast for that. Okay, uh, how do we run these simulations? Well, to determine uh, the ending balances of the portfolio, you let this run for many years, uh, as many years as you want, and then the very final final account balance, the ending account balance, will be that ending balance. Uh, we're going to see that in an example uh, in the next video. Um, we can look at the returns. Um, so we just let the interest fluctuate year over year and then based off your previous account balance we can calculate our interest that we earn each year. Um, and then of course we could calculate our overall average interest earned then. Uh, and we can also get uh, the average interest rate uh, using the IRR calculation. So we can get the dollar amount of the interest, we can get the percentage overall average that we're returning. Um, and uh, again, we can allow for these rates to fluctuate. Um, we're going to generate uh, random rates of return using the RAND function and then um, simulating our probability, or sorry, that will simulate our probability. And then from there, we're going to feed it into whichever um, distribution we think that our rates tend to follow. So if it's a normal distribution, we're going to feed that RAND into the norm.inv. If it's um, uniform, we're going to use a RAND between call and our lower and upper limits, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and that pretty much sums up um, what Monte Carlo simulation is and what we're going to be doing. And we're going to start jumping into an example in the next video and look at how to do this with an actual example.